What's up, people? Yes, yes, I am back. Yes, yes! Oh, man, we made it up here to Michigan. I'm on Lake St. Clair right now. First day of practice starts. Idling out. It feels good to be back, man. You guys have no clue how good it feels just to be able to breathe this fresh air. It's nice and cool up here, kind of brisk morning. It just feels so good. But anyways, this kicks off the last event of the year, the BPT season, the grand finale. Now you guys know and you are aware that I miss Stage Six, Lake Champlain, due to COVID, of course. Uh, made it on the other side of that, thank God. But we are back. We gotta have a good finish here this week in order to make the championship. And that's what it's all about for me this week. And of course, winning, and, uh, and that's why we're here. But anyways, this is how we kicking it off, man. I'm back with the boys, the gang's back together. We all at the house, having a good time. I'm looking forward to it, man. Big water, small line, big small mouth. That is the goal this week. Plenty of them out here. Literally one of the best small mouth fisheries in our country, Lake St. Clair. And uh, we're gonna see if we can't land on some juice this week. So. Y'all stay tuned. You know I'm gonna keep y'all posted with some updates, catch, <clears throat> updates, catches, blase, blee. And I'm just gonna have a fun week, man. Again, it just I'm just so happy to be back out here, back in the saddle, doing what I love, man. And um, I, I, I'm forever grateful for that. So, y'all stay tuned. I'm gonna work on trying to find these bass. See. All right, that ain't take long. I'm out here in what looks like in the middle of the ocean, in the middle of nowhere. Beautiful sunrise. Boom, brownies, that's what we're looking for. But, you know, of course, we need them to be two pounds. So let's see, two we got. <laughs> Oops, I'm a little tripod. Don't wanna act right. Gosh, Lee. Okay, hang on y'all. How much you weigh, bro? Hey, it's a keeper. Two and a quarter. Alright. Thank you, big dog. Go ahead and turn her loose. That felt good. A little Z-Man. Send it jerk shad. That's a good bait out here. You're gonna see a lot of guys throwing that this week. Of course, a bunch of Z-Man stuff. Always really, really good on the smallmouth. And I mean, it's literally an ocean out here. I can't even see land. Ah, a little bit over there, but yes, I like it. It's day two. I apologize. Yesterday, I didn't vlog hardly at all. The reason for that is extremely tough day of fishing. I've actually never seen it this tough on Lake St. Clair. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, I've been here three or four times and fishing's usually pretty dang on good. I mean, it's one of the best fisheries in our country as far as smallmouth go. And I just could not get bit out here on this lake. So I'm trying it again. I'm gonna run some different areas and try to figure this thing out. I mean, this is literally an amazing place that's fishing very, very stingy. So I don't know. I don't know what to say. Day two, it started off quick for me yesterday. Immediately caught like a two and a half. I was like, all right, I showed you guys that one. And then, uh, and it just got extremely tough, man. Couldn't get bit on nothing. When you drag a drop shot around out here and you don't get bit, it, that's tough fishing. I mean, because this place has them. So, I know still they're gonna get caught, guys are gonna catch them. So I cannot use that as an excuse to not figure this thing out. I, we gotta figure this thing out. So that's the plan anyways today. I'm gonna get out here and see what I can catch. Update morning. Uh, it's been pretty tough. I've had about six bites this morning. Um, I did catch one big one, five pounder, which is always, that's always a beautiful thing. But uh, this is not the Lake St. Clair that I know, man. This is not the, Saint, the Lake St. Clair I'm used to. The Lake St. Clair I'm used to, these suckers be biting. Now, they gonna get caught. Don't get me wrong. But, dude, it's, it's tough. So, uh, we're still looking. Just idling around, graphing a little bit. 
fishing a lot, looking for them on live scope. It's you know it's tough when you, you, I'm not seeing a lot of them on live scope, which you know this is a live scope in lake. So I don't know what that's about. But we got a few more hours. I'm gonna fish for smallmouth for another two hours, and then I'm gonna actually give these largemouth a go, which is odd because you never see anybody largemouth fishing on Lake St. Clair unless they're in an all largemouth tournament. But I'm about to do it. So y'all see me on live fishing for largemouth. Don't trip. I'm on St. Clair. All right, trying to get this scale to work. All right, we got a zero finally. Got a big it in here. Had to put it in a box real quick because. Was tripping. Let's see here. Okay. She's well over four. I don't know. This scale's tripping. I gotta fix it. Anyway, look at that, y'all. That's what we came to get right there. All right, guys. Y'all heard me say it, and we're doing it. As you can see, very close to shore right here. Yeah, that's because I'm largemouth fishing. I got my largemouth rods up there. It is come to that. I actually have some smallmouth bites though. Let me not talk too bad about them. But um, the wind's supposed to blow really bad on my day. I'm group B. So you got to have alternatives. And I want to try to have something in close proximity in case it's getting destroyed by the wind. I can slide up here and fish for largemouth if I need to. I don't I don't really like doing this. Um, I've actually never even fished for largemouth on Lake St. Clair before. But I know they got them. But uh, it's just what I feel like I gotta do, man. So I'm gonna bounce around in some of these canals, some of these little backwater looking things. You can see on my map, I don't really know what you call them. But uh, bounce around in some of these areas like this. And see, if, see if we can't get bit. They gotta be living in those places. So. All right, guys, just wanted to check in and let you know that it has come to largemouth fishing. Hopefully, it don't stay like that. Back at the crib. Starting to get a little, a little sun dusky. You know what I mean? Meaning the sun's going down is what I mean. Let me show y'all what we got popping though. Adrian, J-Dub, he's way over there. What's going on? They fish tomorrow. Me and Sizzle, what we in charge of right now? Whip in this kitchen. Actually, we're not even in the kitchen. We're on the back porch. Cause you know why? Cause you know why? Yeah. Fish fry know. time. And then, and then DC over here on you the big boy grill. Pop. It's literally popping. Look, look. Sound effects. Yeah. We didn't caught a couple Walters this week. Walters, walleye. For those that don't know, what's good. And when we catch them, we don't throw them back. Let me show you what we do with them. This is how Walters end up. Walters ends up at a rental house on paper plates with seasoning on them. About to touch that fish fry and then about to touch that hot grease. That's how Walters end up. Got a little baby, little baby perch in there too. I might have to edit that because they might have to be legal size. We don't know, I don't know. <laughs> it don't matter though. Hey, fish fry of choice. I'm fooling with that right there. I usually use the yellow pack. I grabbed the wrong one. That's the chicken one. And I got the shrimp too. I got all of them, but I like to mix the Cajun one, which is spicy, with the regular one. That's the juice. The red bag with the yellow bag. That's the juice. Traveling in a rush, forgot a few things. So I'm going to make that work today. All right, that's what we're doing at the cribbo. All right, guys update it's 10 14 and i got a nice little surprise for my boy j dub who was looking out for me Th shout out to him man all kind of crazy stuff going on hey babe i'm vlogging hang on a second i'm vlogging got the wife on the phone anyways j dub comes downstairs i'm getting ready to call it a night i don't think i'm about to sleep in all day tomorrow i'm group b and all that good stuff he goes hey mark i just looked at the text and you're group a I don't know why I thought I was in group B and to be completely honest, you know, going through all of the, you know, the COVID stuff, missing the last event, I kind of just been disregarding a lot of the emails, didn't really look closely into it. I just 
I, I don't know, I felt firmly about it though. I felt 100% fact I'm in group B. I practiced for group B because of the wind and all the stuff that's coming this week. I did everything based on group B. Surprise, Mark. It's 10, 15 and now you've been frying fish, carrying on, having a good time with your boys. You got fish tomorrow. Yeah, so that means for me, blast off is at 8 a.m. I'll be up at 5.30, rearing rods in the dark because I got to get ready. Somebody got to do it. And that's what I'm going to do. It's all good. I'm not tripping. We're going to go out on the lake. We're going to have ourselves a good day. Irregardless of this little hiccup, hey, but stuff happens, man. <laughs> I'm just happy to be fishing, man. So I had to share y'all that story real quick. Crazy moment. This stuff stuff happens. It does all the time to me. Let's go catch some smallies. See. All right, gang. We have arrived to our first spot. And I'm very hopeful that these fish will bite. I had a decent day of practice yesterday. Had some bites out here. And uh, I've been told that when you find them feeding on crawfish, that's a really good sign. Because crawfish, unlike perch and shad and alewife and all these other fish species, obviously they don't know swim off. The likelihood of them staying in one area is really high. And obviously the smallmouth are eating them, so they'll hang out too. So I'm hoping that's the case today. Um, Although I'm not catching them on crawfish style baits, which is funny. Catching a lot of them cranking and of course on drop shot. But uh, we got some cross style baits rigged up that we're going to try today. We're going to see see if they uh, might want to play with those. But it's a beautiful day out here. You can't ask for much better weather as far as St. Clair goes. The wind's blowing like maybe five mile an hour. You can see I'm sitting down on my, on my deck right now. I ain't bouncing all up and down. It's a beautiful day. Tomorrow's going to blow really bad. So I feel bad for my boy DC, but... He's a big boy. He'll be all right. But I uh, just wanted to take a quick moment, let you guys know we have arrived. And now we just need to do some catching. So we'll see. We're going to troll all around. I got spots two miles that way, mile that way, mile out, just all over. Just bounce around. Cover a lot of water. See if we can't find a concentration of them. Put them in the boat. Show you guys the arsenal since we got a little bit of time. This is what we're doing. My choice of rods this week is our favorite hexes, of course, but uh, I got a spin bait tied on. I haven't thrown this guy actually um, all week, but it's just something I want to have tied on. I might, I might throw it. Of course, I got several drop shots, all Z-Man baits. Um, got that guy right there, trick shot. That's one of my favorite. I catch him everywhere I go on that. I catch them at uh, St. Lawrence River, here out on St. Clair, Malax, any smallmouth fishery. You'll catch them on that trick shot. Champlain, it don't matter. Very classic staple in terms of smallmouth fishing. Just the old basic tube. Green pumpkin, I'll put a little bit of orange on him. I got this little crawfish drop shot bait right here. Uh, just because they were eating crawfish, I wanted to try that. I don't know. They might bite that guy, they might not. That's one of them last minute deals. Then over here, more spinning rod. I got drop shot here. Z-Man Senate Jerk Shad. That's another staple when it comes to smallmouth fishing. I love that bait. That color shiner. Uh, Green Pumpkin TRD. I wonder if that'll catch a smallmouth. I mean, that catches smallmouth everywhere in the country, coast to coast. Then I got uh, two crankbaits. Look familiar? Yep. The exact same two crankbaits I caught them on in years past. Those are my favorite baits out here. That's it, man. That's my whole arsenal. I don't know, if I can't catch them on these 10 rods, let's see, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. <clears throat> I got nine rods. If I can't catch them on these, they just ain't gonna get caught. It's about to go down. I can feel it, I feel good. I got Mr. Fred with me today. He was just in NorCal fighting fires. How awesome is that? <clears throat> Flew there from Arkansas, helping us out. We need some help out with us. That's love. <clears throat> so it's gonna be a good day. There's one. Feels like a little guy. Yeah, he is.
little guys. I guess at least they're biting. Yeah, they're the wrong size. The hardest part is just to not chunk them suckers back. <laughs> Man, four in a row, all small. little this one I might keep actually living out here right there three pounds seven ounces three seven all right fat guy beautiful bass right there all right that's one of the ones i tell you bit it way out there gosh it feels like a freight train grab it Pound, 11 ounces. Yeah. There we go. I've seen him. Just gotta pay attention, I guess. baby I needed you desperately into period one it's a beautiful day out here nice and calm but unfortunately that has completely killed my bite I've had eight bites I caught five non scoreables unbelievable three scoreables I've been catching them on the crankbait in these flat conditions man I just I don't think they won't really want to bite um, I'm in a good area though I know this for a fact Caught some dandies here last couple of days, man. So I don't know. Debating right now. The only other pattern I got going is way up the St. Clair River. Fishing seawalls up there. Uh, it's a ride though, about 40 minutes from where I'm sitting right here. And uh, we get there. Somebody might already be fishing it. It'd be a tough deal. But as many fish are there out here in this lake, 
under these particular conditions with it being glass i mean i just don't i just don't know i don't know but that's what separates the boys from the girls i might give it another hour out here if it don't work i'll make that run and just fish up there last period what you got to lose nothing let's see hey guys into period two made a huge 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 run ran all the way up here to the mouth of lake huron uh for like just a couple little small stretches and there's another angler fishing them two and i'm here super late needless to say i never had a bite well i had two non-scorable bites i didn't catch either one of them but they felt small whoo man it's it's rough it's really 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 rough but uh the problem with this is now I'm committed up here in this river and I can't bounce around and hit places like I want to, you know, we're up here. So, you know, now I'm just going to go practice it, man. I'm just going to run around and fish stuff that looks good that they should be on. Hopefully we can run into a few and get ourselves back into, in, into this thing. You know, we're 10 pounds from being back in this thing. Not inside the cut, but, you know, getting back healthy to where we can still make the cut. Because right now we, we sucking bad. So... I don't know, man. It's been one of one of them weeks, one of them seasons almost. Really, it's crazy. But anyway, y'all stay tuned. I'm still rocking the chesty. We ain't lost. We don't never lose hope. We gonna do it, man. Call it a day. All right, guys. We just wrapped up today. Um, arguably, one of the most frustrating days I've ever had fishing in my career. Um, mostly, not even mostly solely on my decision making just you know it's just disappointing man I, I thought i could do something i made a ridiculously long run and committed and it did not pan out not even a little bit matter of fact i've never i've never caught a scoreable bass since i left um the fish that i found out in the lake are quality fish they're just being very fickle and I just felt like I needed to come check it. Of course, in retrospect, in hindsight, I, I should have stayed on the lake. I'm sure I could have picked off three, four, five more, you know, just plinking around. And I didn't do that. The conditions are not conducive to what I wanted to do and how I've been catching them, which is cranking. And, uh, man, in years past, even on a calmer day, I could catch them cranking, which is today. I mean, it's glass out there. Today, wasn't the case. In practice, I had a good 10, 12 mile an hour wind and they were chewing. I mean, biting. So, I really don't know. It's just all part of the game. Kind of sick to my stomach a little bit, but nothing you can do, man. This won't be the last tough day. That's for sure. So, I'm definitely frustrated, upset. I got my whole season riding on this event and I don't know what we're going to do uh on sunday but we got to do something and something big so i'm checking out man what a what a what a sad face <laughs> want to give y'all some real raw frustration live from the lake just pull lines out so got a nice little ride in get to think about it sleep on it figure it out all right you guys damn dinner time We out here in New Baltimore. Not old Baltimore, but New Baltimore. Yeah. Walking to dinner in some place called Finn's. Should be pretty good. I'm eating my dinner right now. Sour Patch Kids. Mm -hmm. That's how we roll. Mm -hmm. Look at all them bugs. <laughs> Good morning, people. It's day two. And we already know how we did on day one. So we gotta do better on day two. <laughs> Oh man, I'm, I'm actually in a really good mood this morning. I feel great. Uh, day one was so rough on me. It was a little tough on my psyche there for a little bit, man. But we fighters, we grinders, man. We don't we don't stop, man. So get ready to pump this gas and 
catch these bats. That's how we roll in this boy. I guarantee y'all, the most consistent thing in all these videos is me pumping gas, I promise you. It's not the fishing, it's the pumping gas. That's what we do. Will it reach? No, she don't reach. Pop that bad boy right there. There we go, Mr. Gary Klein. Look at this. Legendary right there. Ain't from the West Coast. Look at no better than that. Gary Klein, boy. OG status. Ah, I feel good this morning. We're gonna catch him today, y'all. Three bass, day one for eight pounds. Has been uh, last place, second to last place. Tommy Biffle's in last, I'm second to last. Today, we're gonna catch some bass and make up some ground, I promise you. Here we go, day two. Getting ready to blast off right now. We got to do a lot better than we did on day one. That's for sure, but uh, I'm just gonna go have fun. Do like my mom always tells me, go have a good time, son. And that's what I'm gonna do. But don't think I ain't gonna be giving it 1 million percent try to make this cut still, because that's what's going down. I barely hooked. Can I lay him down? Yes, sir. You got some of them on it. Yeah, he does, doesn't he? There we go. Yeah, they ain't keeping What's that? No, the what do you mean they ain't keeping them? You know, they, they work. Oh, they was keeping them. They ain't keeping track no more? Yeah, the... Two pounds, five out. Two five. All right, on the board. There we go. Thank you, boss. your way bud see many hooks in him and then now that I got him the owner's got him good that's a nice fish there there we go that's what we came for four one four one yeah nice one four one yes sir let's get this thing rolling here Stop jumping, bro. Go, baby. Yeah. Four, three, baby. Yes, sir. Yes. Thank you, fish. Oh. 
Fat little dude, look at that crawfish hanging out of his, his booty. <laughs> Down there eating crawdaddies. Thanks, bud. There we go. Big guy. Stay down, buddy. They're so strong. You know, 14. Yes, sir. That's a meat pie. <laughs> awesome, thank you. 14. He was a dandy. Big mama. Guess what? Right back bottom white points. Unbelievable. I, I don't understand that. Huh? Yeah, no doubt. I mean, I'm just on the outside of them, but I'm very close to them. Yeah. Still, same deal. Baby, nice beautiful brownie. Can I lay him down? Yes, sir. Anyway, that was one of the weird bites I was telling you about, like when they don't. Uh, fully commit like it was just weird that whole biting was weird two pounds two ounces two two super fat I do have been eating mm -hmm. yellow butt been eating buddy Three ounces. Three. 
Thanks, buddy. Three down, seven ounces. Three seven. Yes. Nice one. Thank you, buddy. All right, we back at the crib. And my boy DC, he think he a grill master, y'all. Y'all already be... know. Check him out. Look, Chef D Sizzle. What you what you got? What you got hey, shaking, Chef bro? Chef Sizzle. Chef Sizzle got his sizzling. Y'all heard it sizzling? Listen to it. Got them wings sizzling. He got a bunch of them wings too. Look at them wings. What you gonna do, buffalo? We're gonna do buffalo wings. A few, original. few originals, a couple we spices. Did. We're doing them all. Not for the faint of heart. Hey, I had a tough week, semi. Not really, though. I had a tough yes or day before yesterday. Today actually went kind of good, but I'm kind of trying to get myself back, so I'm drinking a beer. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like a little therapeutic, man, after a rough week of fishing. My boy Adrian caught him, though. How about it? Hey, we had a lot of riding on it this week. We do, man. Yeah, you did too. Hell yeah, I got everything right the whole season. Today salvaged it. I don't know Both yet. The, 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 jury, the jury ain't out yet, Adrian. Yeah, you're good. You're good. We got to figure it out yet. I don't know. If, I mean, I, I told y'all several times I had to make, I don't know what I need to make, but obviously the goal is to make the championship. Red Crab coming into this event, I missed stage six, got a zero. But they've given us a throw out. So obviously I gotta throw out my zero and I have to keep this finish, which is gonna be about a 56 or something like that. So I don't know the mathematics on what I needed in order to make the championship. Adrian swears to God I'm good. Yeah, yeah, you good. Okay, y'all hear this, right? Honestly, I think he was good. Look, look, Adrian swears to God I'm good. Let me not make this championship. I'm flying to Cape May on a jet. <laughs> Coming to see my boy. We'll do a little tog fishing. Let me go do some togging. Oh man, I hope I made it, man. That was my goal this week, is to make the championship. That's Adrian's goal, he's looking real good. He done made the cut. He's got some good fish going, so he's, he should be able to. We should be do, all right. He should be all right. Hey, you need anything for me, Adrian? Line, anything no, like man, that? I'm good. You straight? Okay. Yeah, you, you already hooked me up, I'm good. For sure. Not, not them now, let's, now let's go holler at my other dog real quick. Let's go talk to this dude. You know what happened the most? The most. <sighs> Y'all recognize this it? cat right What here? about it? My boy ain't caught it. Listen, it ain't good enough for him to, 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 to catch 100 pounds in one day. He got to catch big bass too. What'd you, what'd you catch today? A 5'11. A 5'11. That's a yonder. Hey, dude, this one now. This one now. He, he, got, got, he, got, he got a story. I went and I'm like, Doop. That feels like a big hit. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> man, that feels like me. And I told my man, freaking boat, he said, hey, yo. I said, that's really a big one. I said, but how big is it? Back there, it's like, I looked down, it was like three and a half pounder. I'm like, this three and a half pounder, I'm like pulling on it. It's hard. Oh. Oh. And I'm like, why is he pulling so why hard? Why is he pulling <laughs> so hard? And I was spot locked in the current and stuff. And he's, yeah, it looks like a three and a half, four pounder. And I just caught a four and a half. And I get him up there. This is how bad it was. I got him to the top of the water where you spot lock like three mile an hour current. Yeah. Oh, and I'm just hard. reeling him in. Yeah, on top of the water. Skinny. Yeah, and I yeah. grab him and I'm like, oh gosh, dang! <laughs> <laughs> this, this is big bass of dirt. Hey, it was a big one. It was Golly, a big one. It my boy be reeling, if y'all don't know, if y'all been living under a rock and y'all like bass fishing and y'all don't know about this cat right here, somehow, I don't know how he do it, they just find him and they just latch onto his hooks. They go looking for me. That's what J-Dub do. Sometimes. Hey, but look, on, on a real note, J-Dub got a lot riding on this week. Him, Otto, Brent Ayler, they're kind of all missing. Oh, Aylor the Aylor missed. Cut. Okay, so Ayler's out. So Otter and J Dub, they got shot at Angler That's of the Year. It. I like both of them dudes. I love Ott too. J Dub is my dog. Obviously, we live together half the year. So either way, it's, it's all good. It's all good. It's gonna go down. It's I'm a good. hey, look, I'm I'm out. I'm eliminated, but I'm gonna stay just to see these cats duke it out because I gotta celebrate with with both of them. Whoever Absolutely. wins, it's gonna go right. down. So you know it. we it's all gonna go down. Is it tomorrow is gonna be the this telltale, the big right? Week. No. Will it not be? Knockout round day. Oh, I'm tripping. Tomorrow, I thought tomorrow's knockout. You're right. Knockout day is going to be the telltale of it all so going Otter down. I will make the cut probably. I'm more than 90% chance, 99% chance to make the cut tomorrow. Yep. 
And y'all, it'll you, come down to one day. It'll come down to one day of fishing. Day of fishing. Shoot out. It's crazy. They're 12 Shoot points out. apart going into this event. If they both make top tens, Otter automatically wins. Yep. If Jade Up makes a top ten and Otter finishes well, 13. I don't know how that. I don't know what the type he's got. He's got you by 12 points. 12 yeah, points, so yeah. so it have to be. So at the end of the day, he's got to beat him by 12 places. He got to beat him by 12 places when it's all said done. So it's going it's going to be a, it's going to be a nail biter, man. But it's hey, this is why we love bass fishing, though. This is what it comes down to. So I'll be giving y'all the update on that here in a minute. <clears throat> in a couple days, I'm gonna hang out and chill. I'm gonna see some of my boys, man. I'm, I'm uh, we're here just outside of Detroit. I got four or five roommates, man. Uh, from college, from Detroit. I spent a lot of time up here. I got love for the D. So I'm gonna hook up some of my boys, go to dinner, hang out, do some Detroit things. So I will not be recording that. It might be too raw for the, for the, for the radio. But anyways, I'm out. Y'all take care.